Hello, welcome to the latest breaking news. In this video you will see important news on use of trending and breaking. Please like this video, subscribe this channel. Can Ted Lasso avoid Scrubs missteps? Is Big Brother Evicti prime for challenge? Why isn't Disney making the Omit movie? And more Chiefs. We've got questions and you've maybe got answers. With another week of Tiddy gone by, we're lobbing queries left and right about Ted Lasso, only murders in the building, Yellowstone, and more. We know this question comes a week late, but for those of you who only recently watched the Evil series finale, were you caught off guard by the obvious use of a stunt double when Kristen tasered Leland? Does a potential season 4 of Ted Lasso run the risk of making the same mistakes as season 9 of fellow Bill Lawrence comedy Scrubs if they insist on bringing back Jason Sudeikis for multiple episodes as Ted? A keen to how Zach Braff's Jage turned up at med school despite having left Sacred Heart at the end of season 8. Wouldn't it make more sense to move forward with a spin-off that doesn't require Ted to be present? especially if Sudiakis has said that he set out to tell a three-season story that is now complete. Oh, we are almost halfway through SEAL Team's final season. How much longer will it possibly take for Drew to warm up to his Bravo brothers? And what, pray tell, does the podcast She Story have to do with it all? And for a second straight week, we must ask, would a group of overtly American military types be carousing at a local Thai bar after blowing up the neighborhood fentanyl factory. Did Snowpiercer pitch you with almost a wave of nostalgia when Whedon's referred to the firsties, and as Ruth reflected on her days of delivering stool-top speeches to the Tailies? Feels like an eternity ago, right? All-American. Homecoming's temporary tattoo and photoshoot scenes between Simone and Lando were sweet and all, but did neither of them consider they were maye behaving too intimately when Lando has a girlfriend? Also, when Simone woke up at the end of the episode, did you briefly think her day with Lando was all going to have been a dream? The Bachelorette fans, are you starting to worry that Jen, who isn't even sure she's ready to get engaged, I don't know how to be in a healthy relationship, maybe shouldn't be on a tell you show that traditionally ends with a marriage proposal? And why was the men tell all studio audience so loudly shocked that Jonathan went home, when he was clearly a distant third behind Marcus and Devin? On only murders in the building, were you surprised to learn that Paramount, not Disney, is producing the only murders movie? And are we to believe the studio went and commissioned a script, hired a pair of directors and cast their three leads before Charles, Oliver, and Mabel signed off on it? What if the trio had declined to sign away their life rights? We know the Kings have no issue with casting good wives slash good fight alums in new roles on Elspeth. But given that Nathan Lane was in 15 whole episodes of The Good Wife, including one that featured a memorable Clark Hayton slash Elsbeth Piano, do it. V. Aren't they risking some confusion? Can they at least have Elsbeth comment on Lane's new character's likeness? Does it bomb anyone else out knowing just how close Noah Wiles the pit came to being in her revival? Hence the current lawsuit. As fun as it will be to see Nikki Glaser coast the Golden Globes, were you holding out hope that she'd be picked to host the Oscars? As much as we've enjoyed all the Tevcast reunions on this latest season of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, can we please go back to the original non-celebrity format if Act picks up the Jimmy Kimmel-hosted revival for season four? We hate to say it, but it's Kite Man. Hell yeah. Actually giving us too much bane. Wasn't he better just showing up for the occasional quit on Harley Quinn? V, are you glad that Dean Norris will be sticking around law and order? Organized crime as Stabler's big brother Randall, upon its move to Peacock. Or was his nine-episode guest stint more than enough? Do you suspect that this week's big brother evictee is now a lock for future seasons of The Challenge and Slasher Traders? And now that that player has gotten the boot from 26, who do you think stands the best chance at winning? Elizabeth Moss was in FX slash who lose the veil and will next be seen in Apple Tave Plus's Imperfect Women. Avon Strahovski has both Peacock's Teacup and a woman of intelligence coming up. Just how many shows do you think the stars of The Handmaid's Tale will be able to squeeze in before its sixth and final season finally sees the light of day? 
How shameless is it of Paramount Network to include old footage of Kevin Costner in the first teaser trailer for Yellowstone Season 5 Bits? Fry.